Hello and welcome to this live stream and also hello and welcome to everyone watching the replay of this live stream. We are going to explain and show how to set up your Camlink 4K to get yourself ready to live stream as fast as possible. So let's not waste time. Only one thing, if you haven't subscribed to Greenbox yet, hey, consider subscribing. So let's just jump right into it. So what do we need? Um, first of all, we need a notebook or a computer or anything which can be used to live stream from. Then in case of the Elgato Camlink 4K, we also need a camera which we are going to use as our webcam. And of course, we also need a way to connect the webcam to the Camlink and that's done by a HDMI cord. All right, so there is one last thing uh, because I am using a MacBook. Uh, MacBooks don't have full-fledged USB ports anymore. I am also going to use an adapter. Yeah, the dongle life is real. So, okay, what else do we need which is not physical equipment? We need software and we need the so-called OBS Open Broadcaster software and we're just gonna download this one and install it right now. So we are on my MacBook right now and we simply go to our uh, web browser and go to OB <coughs> obsproject.com the link to this website is down in the video description below. We just go ahead and download OBS for our platform. In my case, it's a MacBook, so I'm going to download the Mac version. Okay, download is almost done. And once it's done, we can simply start it up by clicking it like, 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 like you would. So, all right. So, um, can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. Yeah, that's fine with us. We have to go to the security preferences and say start anyway. So we go to security and privacy, go to general, and we should be able to say open anyway to this OBS Mac installer. Uh, if you do that, make sure that you download it from the official source, which is the one uh, linked in the video description. And if, if that's the case, there is no risk. Open it anyway. So let's open it, close that, and we are in the installer. Um, installation should be easy, should be self-explanatory. Um, get in your password or fingerprint, in my case, and uh, that's it. And it's installed. That was the jingle, the, 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 the most beautiful installation sound I've ever heard. So it's installed now. That means we can start up OBS and uh, actually use it. Okay, so uh, that's the, that's that's OBS. And um, I just noticed that my face cam is blocking the settings. Okay, so first of all, we have to go to the settings, which are here. Okay, so what do we need? Um, OBS is our software which allows us to record or live stream the video feed which we are getting from our camera using Delgato Camlink 4K. So first of all, we have to say, hey, hey, what, what, what is the format we are recording on? Because we can not only live stream, we can also record. So we first do that. We go to the tab video and in video, uh, we're going to make sure that we are on uh, 4K because we are going to use a Camlink 4K, which allows us to actually um, record in 4K. So we're going to set the canvas to 4K. That's the case. Then go to output and go to recording. Uh, here we have to set our recording format. Usually I'm using MP4, but be aware. If your computer dies or OBS crashes or anything interrupts your recording, those files will be corrupted and um, aren't and you aren't able to, to uh, work with them. Unless you're gonna use the tutorial we did earlier this month, I guess it was two weeks ago. If you check the info card, there should be a video linked which tells you how to recover footage which is corrupted by an interrupted recording from OBS. 
Um, if you don't want to do that, then you can ch uh, then you can change it to another format. In my case, I'm going with MP4 because it's a convenience thing. Um, like every player, every editor, every device I'm using is able to play back MP4, which is not the case with something like TS or even MKV, which is a pretty awesome format, but uh, my devices don't like it. So I'm staying with MP4. So we have done that and uh, set our canvas to 4K. Now it's time to get to our recording stuff and for that we just gonna go in the top view again and we have to set up this thing right now okay so as we said we need the camlink 4k and in this case let's uh, unbox this real quick and for all of you who haven't seen a video yet the camlink 4k basically is a usb stick which plugs into your computer which allows you to record hdmi signal so once we have that, we need to set up our camera. In my case, I'm using a Canon Legria camcorder, which has, of course, it's, it's needed for this project, an HDMI out port, which allows me to send the video feed from the camera straight to an HDMI cord. Speaking of HDMI cords, that's the HDMI cord we need. Uh, in, case you have not, <laughs> in case you have no HDMI cord laying around, uh, I'm sad to tell you that the Elgato Cam Link isn't allowing you to stream uh, wirelessly. So uh, you need a cord like this. Yeah, I know cords are old fashioned, but hey, you will need it. So, okay, that, that should be easy. Plug in one side to your camera. Yeah, the right way around. And the other side into your Cam Link 4K. Okay, so uh, now it would it should be as easy as plugging in your cam link to your computer, but in my case, as we discussed earlier, I don't have an HD uh, an, an full sized USB port, so I'm going to use this adapter. Okay, so it's in, and the indication light just went on. Okay, now we can go back to our OBS software. All right, we just plugged this. We just plugged the 4K um, cam link in, and now we can go to sources, press the plus button, and add a new video capture device. We press on video capture device and name it whatever we want. In my case, I'm going to name it Elgato Cam Link 4K because this is what it is. Um, I'm also uh, checking the make source available. Um, this means if we change um, scenes, we can use the same source we set up in another scene. Uh, it's just a convenience thing. You don't need to if you just want to use this one scene. All right, press OK. And now we are able to select the Camlink 4K. And that's what we want. So OK, and there should be the Camlink 4K now. The only thing we forgot to do is we haven't turned on our camera. So the camera is not sending any video feed yet. So let's do this really quick. Start this one up. And hope the batteries are not dead. <laughs> yeah. All right, there was, <laughs> there was notification sound and we are on the camera. And now we should be able to see a video feed inside OBS. Let's check this. So, okay, uh, there, was a, there was a shortcut because we had a problem with our USB port. Everything is set up now and it's working properly. The only thing is we have to scale this input to uh, our screen. And that's done by a right click on to the source, then go to scale. I'm not uh, transform. Sorry, you go to transport and then fit to screen. All right. So now we have our Camlink 4K connected to our computer and our camera to our Camlink. So uh, this is basically what you guys see. Um, that's that's uh, the camera for the top view. That's the camera for the face cam and we should be ready for the next step. So next up, we want to actually live stream. And to do that, we need to set up our live stream. So first of all, we go to settings again. And in the settings tab, we first go to uh, output. 
sorry, we go to video and set the output scaled resolution to full HD. Um, that's because I am going to stream in full HD only because my bandwidth is not allowing me to stream in 4K. So I'm going to set this to four, uh, 1080p and then go to the tab stream. In this tab, we are going to select our platform. In my case, it's YouTube and select the primary server. You can also use the secondary, but I never had a situation where I had to use the secondary because the primary wasn't working. So you, you, I usually go with the primary. So next up, we need a stream key. And to obtain your stream key, you can click this handy link in OBS, click it, and you will be redirected to the YouTube Live dashboard. On the YouTube Live dashboard, you can scroll down to this settings. This, by the way, is also um, the link which is behind the primary and secondary server. But OBS is uh, showing you the alias and is putting in this link in the background. So you have this, the stream name slash stream key. And uh, you can reveal this like I will do now, and you should never ever do that. You can copy it, hide it again, and paste paste it in. So pressing OK, and if I say start stream now, we should be able to live stream. And that's because um, our live, um, or our stream key is basically the password for our um, live broadcasting. So everyone who has that key can stream onto my account right now. And because you guys gonna go back and stop, I'm just going to uh, reset that button. Uh, that, that, uh, yeah, great. I'm gonna reset it off screen, maybe. <laughs> so I'm just going to reset this a few times. So you guys cannot go back and uh, stream onto my account. And if we go back to uh, our OBS and go back to our live stream, we see the live stream has stopped because my key isn't um, up to date anymore. All right, so let's go back, stop the stream. And now I'm going to show you how to record, record footage, record onto a file. So, um, first of all, we set up everything we need to set up to be able to do an absolute minimum. So, if I press the start recording button, which you cannot see again because my face cam is just in front of it. <laughs> start recording, and that's a little test, la la la. Okay, stop it, and go here. So, that's the video we just recorded, and if we go to the info, where are the infos? Get info. We see that this is recorded at 1080p. Why though? That's because we just set the output to scale down to 1080p when we live streamed. When we do uh, a video recording and we want to have the full resolution, for example 4K, we have to go to video and set the scaled output back to full resolution, in this case 4K. All right, so let's do a test again. Start recording, whoop, 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 whoop. That's by the way, Premiere Pro. Stop recording and we go back to our video. If we check the second video, we will see that this video was recorded at full resolution of 4K. So one last trick before we are at the end of this video live stream. Um, to not have to switch to resolution every time, you can do something called profiles. Uh, if you go to OBS, you can go to, let me show you. You can go to profiles and create a new one. Create it and then say that's YouTube recording. Press OK. And now you have a completely different profile. That means if you go to settings, your base settings might be changed back to where they were before we changed them. Let's check this real quick. So yeah, stream is set to Twitch. Uh, output, 
is in simple mode. You go to advanced and go to recording and see, okay, it's at uh, FLV right now. So we, we can change this again. Also the video canvas mode is uh, reset to full HD and 720p. Why is that? Um, it's just a fresh profile and you can um, set it up however you want. So you can do a profile which is for live streaming, which has the optimal settings for live streaming. So your um, video feed is getting out fast and then have a profile for recording, which has, let's say, a higher resolution, a higher, a higher uh, bit rate. So that's just a way to, to switch between those profiles without having to go to the settings every time. Because if I want to switch a profile right now, I just have to go to here, profile, profile and select the one I want to use. I'm using this all the time on my streaming computer I'm using to stream right now. Uh, I have an Elgato cam uh, stream deck, which you can see here. Okay, let, let, me, let me real quick switch back. So let's switch back and give you the view. So I have a Elgato Stream Deck and I have a button which actually switches the profiles I'm using to record. So if I'm recording, I'm recording at full, full resolution, in my case 4K, with my top camera, my, uh, my, my um, face cam, and if I have any screen cap with screen cap, and if I do a live stream, like right now, I'm going for 1080p. So that's, that's everything. So uh, that's how to set up your computer using the Elgato CamLink 4K and a camera to be able to live stream whenever you want, wherever you want. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this live stream slash video, please, hit the, hit, please let me know. Uh, hit the like button, maybe subscribe to um, this channel, would be awesome. And I will see you at another live stream, or maybe another recording, or another video, or maybe I will see you in the comment section of another YouTuber, or of my own videos. I don't know, but the world is small and I will see you again, for sure. I hope, unless you block me. That would be sad. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox, and uh, as you have noticed, there are two videos you can click right now, so feel free to do so. Bye.